President Woodrow Wilson. Your inauguration is a momentous occasion. Since the emancipation of slaves, the government of this nation, the president, the senate, representatives of each state, passes into the hands of the party that fought for blacks to be real estate in the eyes of the law. So imagine our disposition when it was the vote of the black man that put you in your high position. Not to be misunderstood, we just play the cards we're dealt. We didn't vote for you because we liked you. We just hated Roosevelt. The highs and lows are felt in our country's climate. So I'm reminded to assign you the requirement of the Negroes re- Defining how we keep from climbing is our nation's greatest problem, but we expect a decent educated man like yourself to help and solve it. We want to be treated as men. We want to vote. We want our children educated. This is my direct quote. From the day they forced us on that boat, we were stripped lifeless. We're just trying to stay afloat. Sincerely yours, the crisis. Signed, W.E.B. Divorce. The violence, no, we won't be silent. I speak to you as a human, a brother, a son, in military service, fighting for our nation. Many times it feels worthless as I deal with segregation. To the extent of my knowledge, segregation was abolished. This was our country's promise, but nothing has been accomplished as I attend college. Howard University, so one day I can work to be a professional that's honest. But I sit here astonished that perhaps you don't realize the conflict in Korea hits close to home to your office. This is not a mere communistic effort to fight democracy this is a race war to push out whites the hypocrisy has got to be stopped within our policies this isn't an olive branch i'm sending here this is an olive tree but i refuse to fight for a country that doesn't fight for me please abolish segregation sincerely Stuart a the street the torture the disrespect now there is a disconnect oh we've got so far Mr. President, while I am happy with your fine start, I approach you with a kind heart. My vigorous opposition to your position sincere, but I hope to be proven wrong in these next four years. In your letter to me, in 1960, you informed you would use your influence when moral issues were involved. And I'm not naive enough to think one year it all be solved, but I want to make sure we're not ignored. As Negro Americans, we must assert ourselves more, not for individual efforts, but for the masses of us all. And I thank you for what you've done so far. But times are still hard. To sit back and say nothing's a luxury I can't afford. I would like to be patient, but patience the main cause of a struggle to fight the flaws of a past that once was. Since the days of George Washington, may God give you strength for your task at hand. Sincerely, Jackie Robinson. Can we talk just for a little?